At the moment, we have have the death toll at 68 people who have been confirmed deaf, confirmed with their own IDs and with their families. And 66 other um, have been clinically announced dead. They uh, were transferred first to the sit-in in Rabaa, where they've been resuscitated, and then um, they were taken to nearby hospitals. Uh, there are over 4,000 injuries, um, mostly by tear gas and other chemical gas components, um, as well as by direct confrontation with thugs using bladed weapons um, and different bullet wounds reports. Uh, the bullet wounded are over 1,000 at least. Well, there's no government in Egypt now that we recognize. This is a military coup regime that has taken over the country by force, by the power of the tank, and demolished over 21 electoral milestones that have voiced the population of Egypt's recognition of its own leadership, represented in the elected president, Mohamed Morsi. So this is not a government we recognize, it's not a leadership we recognize. And still, this is a peaceful protest and a peaceful sit-in, with hundreds of thousands of men, women, and children. They cannot attack this with live bullets, literally from 3 a.m. in the morning all the way to 11.30. Some don't care, some do care. Neither of them, in our equation of standing on principle, will change the fact that we will not move the protest. We will not stop, <coughs> we will not stop protesting. This is our country in danger, and we'd rather die for our country than live under the tyranny of a military rule. You're Perhaps our blood will be the what needs the country needs to have its conscience waken up.